Now the present moment, we're having a bit of a lull in the campaign. Uh, that doesn't mean there's nothing going on. There's always something going on. I'm always doing something to annoy the British and upset the Royal Navy. Uh, at the moment, I've got just a couple of little patrols. Now, uh, sub, she's going to mine commentary. And we've got another submarine here. You're going to mine uh, Rosyth. I don't think there's actually anything in Rosyth, to be honest. But uh, we're going to stick some mines down there. Uh, we've been slowly mining these places down here. Yes. But they, they after a while they go because they've got minesweepers that come out and... Um, I clear the mines away so we have to keep renewing everything it's an ongoing thing um, which I suppose is what happened in the war to be perfectly honest uh, Whitby's been a bit of a target later we'll come to that in a minute uh, oh, I've got nothing in the hole maybe I'll have to go in there and visit him but uh, Average as we may or may not remember actually wiped out all the forces there well now they've got sink house there yes yeah, so i might do another uh operation and come down into the channel and see what i can do I've got somewhere in there she's going to uh mine in southampton actually no it's portsmouth and i think yeah one dunkirk she's going back now constantly mine these these down here yeah, that's in the amount of mines I've got here. That needs to be done again, Boulogne. Uh, that's Calais. Yeah, you're up to date. A lot of my submarines are actually out on patrol. And, uh, let's come out and press. Uh, I think it's that button there. Yeah. So, here. Let's see. Oops, it's a bit close. No, sorry. That's better. You can see all of our forces are actually are actually out on patrol. These are all submarines. Okay, the 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 forces we don't actually control them. What I've done, you well, what you do is there are in this uh, third U boat flotilla, uh, four ships in that flotilla at the moment three ships are in port and one's out on patrol quite often you get all of them out on patrol and that's what's up. what these are these are these submarines out on patrol that the merchantman oh it's american merchantman and she's bringing our supplies in for us now the the uh british can pick them up another one here that's from denmark so that them that the, Danish flag. I think it's Danish flag. Uh, yeah, they're bringing supplies in, but the uh, British can um, uh, intercept them and take them, um, bring them into uh, whatever they do. <laughs> I was going to say custody, but that's not, not really the word, is it? I'm lost for words again. I'm always lost for words. Anyway, yeah, they take control of the ships and intern them. Intern them. That's the word I was looking for. They intern the ships, and I'll get there eventually. <laughs> so yeah, most of it's come through here. Quite often, I actually try to come up. This is a very sensitive area for the Royal Navy. Every time I come up here, you can guarantee it. the high, the uh, Grand Fleet will come out of its hidey hole. Most of it is that scapa flow. There's quite a few. That small smallish um, division of battleships as that commentary because they haven't got any well I think they have got a couple of battle cruisers but they're I think the invincible class that were uh, originally with the uh, Grand Fleet so I think apart from that they haven't really got any battle cruisers worth talking about there's nothing like I said I, I don't think there's anything at commentary I haven't seen anything come out of commentary for ages and ages so uh, I assume the place is now empty we got a submarine right over, oh we got a submarine right over here in Northern Ireland I do tell them to sail around most of them sort of stay in the uh, North Sea I don't know why should, I mean this should be the happy hunting ground from here I've got a few here actually yeah 
So I've got four down here. What's that there? The, so, so this wouldn't, maybe I don't put up a video or anything like that, but uh, this game is just sort of ongoing all the time. It never stops. Let's, let's show the positions. Uh, in September the 13th, 1916, well, it's all I can play in 1916. I had uh, one of the other DLCs, I've been able to play a 1915 campaign. Um, but at the moment we've got a German victory and it's been 256 days. We have got other things coming out, um, but not much in a way. Like I said, I've had this other four ships of uh, destroyers. They're coming down to Harwich, but I've, I've, like I said, I've just found out that there's, there's some ships at Harwich are probably will stop them. Um, uh, some of our forces are damaged. Pre dreadnought force, they're damaged. We'll get to why they got damaged <laughs> later on. You know, one of our battleships is damaged, and I lost a couple of uh, destroyers too. And that was, <sighs> I was doing some a lot of uh, action around with the oh shit hold on let's get that back out um that was the one that's better <laughs> press the wrong button like that uh yeah would be what was it want that up there this is the battles of that okay that's that no, shows a lot it's just i can't do that i was going to get rid of that We've had 92 battles <laughs> in my campaign. Okay, they're not all massive battles. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they're not fleet engagements, so... I mean, you can't expect to have 92 fleet engagements. You still have these ships left. Uh, but that, uh, it shows me first one, which was in January the 7th, that was seven days after the campaign started. It's a small engagement, so we come down to the bottom here. Uh, you notice in September all the actions around Whitby. Now what it, what it is, is that is Hipper's force. Yeah, you see, I lost a ship there. Comes with me. Uh, what is it? Just, oh, no, 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 no. What it is? That's probably a submarine. That's why it's showing 61. What happens is, uh, I went to Whitby, which is over here. Uh, there you are, there. Uh, to uh, bombard the place. And on the way there, or the way back, or both. As I got close to the shore, the, I'd get an encounter with uh, British torpedo boats. These are not the type of torpedo boats we had in the Second World War. These are the uh, uh, destroyer torpedo boats. So I'd get uh, encounters with them, and there was also destroyers as well. And because the, there's, there's always some type of traffic down the um, east coast of Britain always some type of traffic and um, or ships guarding the, the coast and that's what these are they're just small clashes and as you see there's quite a few of them i also add out at the virtually at the same time now let's get down a bit further uh yes yeah, so there's quite a few clashes all the way down and then you get to this one here which is the, I had a second foot, secondary force, which was the uh, pre-dreadnought force. And this, by this time, I had got so accustomed <laughs> and annoyed uh, these uh, individual clashes. Most times, the, the uh, British just turn around and just uh, sail off as quickly as possible. Well, they can't take on these great ships, can they? They're quite honest. So I'm just having a drink. 
and um, so I got accustomed to this and I had this clash okay <laughs> this actually surprised me because as you can see there uh, there was 32 British ships this is the first time that has ever happened there was a huge great squadron of destroyers and well, I'll tell you what I'll set, set it up in the editor and I'll show you what it looks like okay so you'll be able to see for yourself basically what I've, I've, I've set it up as I remember it I didn't record it because I didn't have my software going I didn't think anything would be happening so I didn't have my recording software going because quite often I just pop on here for a couple of hours just let the campaign run uh, which normally takes runs for a couple of days a couple of hours takes uses up a couple of days campaign time I didn't, like I said I didn't think anything was going to happen because it was only going to be one of these type of things where I'm actually not doing a great deal I'm just getting keeping the campaign ticking over um, so yeah oh before we go to the editor I mean right see the editor because the battle I was just set the battle up and we just play it as a normal battle um, storm powered site is down they're migrating it so maybe they are trying to fix all the problems because I left a lot of messages on their well a lot of free messages I think it is on their Facebook page they didn't actually reply but they've acknowledged that there is a problem with their site they are now migrating it to elsewhere so if you bought a game maybe and you haven't been able to play it because of the problems with the site maybe after it's migrated you might be able to once the new site's up and running but how you how we get in touch with them I don't know unless it's going to automatically download when you try to go to their old site we'll find out won't we <laughs> do we get on with the bell I've been rabbing it on so much so here we are in the editor uh, the battle <laughs> uh, not the editor because I've, I've done the editing this is basically what happened or when they where they appeared when I realized it wasn't one or two little destroyers but it was actually uh, a major clash um, you know what? I've forgotten how to blood. <laughs> uh, that's better. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> that's it. Yes, before I realised the British was already here on top of me. But that's how the game, that's how it, that's how it started. Now, I'll put this all on uh, control the AI. Well, I'm not going to control anything. Hopefully the German player would do something very similar to what I'd done and what I did was I broke my forces in two and I had half of them turned to starboard and the other half turned to port and I've got these out of the way as fast as possible <laughs> uh, yeah I think I just went forward and have these have my uh, battleships maneuver either way around and also bring my um, uh, light cruisers in too so I've got Medusa there and Nymph, Nymph. really? okay what I didn't realise is I, I didn't put enough destroyers in there I believe there was actually 21 of them now it did say there was 23 but that's because there's submarines around and there's there was a merchantman in there as well which is well, we don't need to have that in there quite honest so let's unpause it and see what occurs let's bring the map out of the way again I know it's night time and it's going to be a little bit difficult to see so they've already spotted one another and that's basically you know, oh not another little clash and then when I looked at the uh, uh, the chart, which is that, where was called it the chart or map, 
I realised it wasn't a little clash, it was a major clash. Uh, we can see that the uh, AI is turning around, it's going to turn in one big lump, That which is not what I did. I broke the forces in two and like I said, half of them went starboard and half of them went port, but these took the brunt of the action. Yeah, so these destroyers at the, at the rear took the brunt of the action. And I lost a couple of these ships. Again, more light forces. I cannot afford to keep losing light forces. But yeah. Seems that I am forever losing light forces. Let's get a bit closer. But the battle slowly develops. Hopefully. Yeah. That ship there, she's already damaged. G197. Yeah, she's already damaged. Maybe I should ch charge him. I just wanted to be free just to uh, do the commentary and roam around the battlefield, which is something I can't do when there's a real, uh, uh, real clash going on and I'm doing it uh, in real time. Yeah. Now they were this type of ship with destroyers on on the rear. Now I, had to, I saw I had to guess what ones they were. I, I don't. I don't. These are probably not the ones that actually took part in the uh, action itself. But yes, we we'll get close to them so you can see what they look like. So it's going to be a little bit difficult. Probably brighten it up a little bit in the editor, but I can't brighten it up too much because, it... yeah, there was all sorts of similar to that. Apart from a few at the back and the flotilla leader, which is this guy here. And normally that they have um, cruisers, flotilla leaders, but they didn't. They had a destroyer. But that looks like a cruiser. I use a swift. Oh look at that ship. Can we not see that ship? No, I don't think it'll let me. It's a shame. <laughs> I can follow it though. But it's it was one mad bloody fight are my ships are oh, actually turning let's have a look yeah they're all turning one lump where see how oh, like I said oh, I went both ways and, oh, that's basically what I did with these as well and you should have these going that way up yeah basically what I did half my half like I said half of these went to starboard the port rather where they're all going to starboard Deutschland's leading and there's the uh oh wonderful can't see a damn thing yeah Now can be turning off the uh, the uh, icons because you won't see a damn f thing at night. But that's exactly what the British did. That's a light cruiser, isn't it? Maybe that's what I did. I decided to put a light cruiser in. Yeah, it's like a cruiser. I know there's a pain in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. 
was already annoyed when I found out I lost two ships. Destroyers have all things to lose. Like I said, I'm so short of light force, especially destroyers. I took a load out the uh, high seats fleet and distributed them around to the uh, battle cruiser fleet, which lost most of their most of their light cruisers uh, and destroyers when we engaged the British battle battle cruisers and defeated them. Unfortunately, all those videos are on another channel, and I haven't got them on my. I can't grab hold of them. That's close, isn't it? <laughs> wow, that's too close. That's too close. Far, far too close. Mind you, they're only destroyed, so I don't know what I'm going on about. Quite honest. Where's the? Uh, they're over there, aren't you? They're over there. They're miles away. What a whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are you turning in that direction? Oh, the big boys have opened fire anyway. It's starting to rain, which is exactly what happened last time. It was bucking it down. That's us firing, we're not. Yeah, we're firing. Yeah. I mean, uh, what do you got? Four inch quick fire, uh, breech loader. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna do some damage, but not a great deal. This ship is not going to last very long. Probably can't hear me because of the noise of the game. It's absolutely. Wait, when you get close. Oops. It's alright when you move away a little bit. Oh, look. She's gone. She's gone. I normally put the commentary on afterwards, but I'm doing it in real time now. Because of this very reason, because of the sound, I dampened the sound down during the battle. Yeah, she's going. How long is it before she sinks? 11 minutes. So their de uh, the destroyer leader is going. Yeah, see, our ships are all in action. Concentrating on her by the looks of it. I think they got a grudge against her. <laughs> oh, look! Torpedo tracks. Gonna miss. Yeah, gonna miss. Oh, she, uh, steering's gone. That's what all oh, that's. It's, yeah, her steering's gone. Torpedoes over there. Have the British fired their torpedoes? I'll be really surprised if they haven't. Well, it's, the ones in the van should have by now. And that's exactly what happened. They snaked around like exactly like that. But because I went left and. Uh, Port and starboard. My ships, my my battleships went down either side of their line, and that was the idea. That's why I split my forces. I made short work of them. For some reason the AI has decided to turn away. I find rather rather odd. Most odd. British are coming straight at them. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, keep firing until she sinks, probably. Seven minutes. Oh, that one's gone as well. Oh, she's gone. She's broken. Won't be long before she sinks. How long? Must stay in, in three minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I know I'm having problems with my throat. That's why I haven't put up any videos for ages. I have been to the hospital and had, ex had an examination and they can't find nothing wrong. So, that was a while ago now. Wow. You're going to go very shortly. Oof! Roof! <laughs> Swifty Morgan. <laughs> oh dear. I watched film lately, it's called about Swifty Morgan. Oh, that was funny. Uh, James, James, I've got his name now. James something, <laughs> is it? Uh, I've forgotten his name. Rockford Files, from that, that guy. Oh, well, we've lost a ship, we've lost a ship. Well, we did in real life 18 minutes. Ours are more durable. Mind you, they're not just torpedo boats, are they? No, you're a proper destroyer. Wow, you are really damaged. You're beaten up. Mind you, you're out of battle by now. Hear the battle fading away behind me. Yeah, you're running like crap. Get back to the battle over here. Right. Aha! Oh! Destroyer! A uh, torpedo track. One of theirs or one of ours? It's one of ours. This is strange. Down the air a bit. Well, they are coming across, but it seems. Seems a waste. Surely we're too far away. There's another one now. Oh no, it's. I beg your pardon, for it's torpedo track, it's not. But their van is starting to really suffer now. That ship is sunk. You'll be going, aren't you? Yeah, five minutes. Ah, oh. he's over there. Torpedo tracks. Yeah, you're gonna hit. Think you're gonna go past in front of it. Yeah, close. Yeah, it was starting to get confused as the battle went on. The British got more and more confused. They were very tidy to start off with, but once I was going down either port and starboard of them, that was the end of it. They, they just panicked and it was a case of, what, the P, P, PQ-17 scatter? <laughs> That's exactly what they did. They absolutely scattered. But it's actually different. Maybe I should have took charge, but like I said, I wanted to see how the... Well, actually, I was interested to see how the computer handled it. Not to say that I haven't run this scenario before, because I did, just to test it. And the first time I ran it, they did exactly what I did. They split their main force in two, and they went down either side of the British. And I thought, well, that was pretty neat. 
doing that, but this time they've gone for the simple option. These ships are all backing up. Notice the speed, it's only nine knots. Yeah, and that did happen too. Turn around. Get back to the battle. Oh, the destroyers are way over here. Lost one by the looks of it. Oh, there's four of them. Orders for. I've got the exact number somewhere. Oh, James Garner was the guy that played the film. <laughs> ah, it's 50 more than the, than the guy where he's pretending the. Uh, ah, there she goes. Oh, dear. There's a horrible sight ship sinking. Oh well, shit happens. This other side has got away. Yeah, they've gone worse. Oh, they're well away. They're scattering. What's that speed? Oh, the ship in the van is only doing four knots. That's the problem. Because what happens is they all follow the van ship. That's why the computer always fires at the van ship. And if you notice, when, uh, when I'm playing the game, I will quickly break off the van ship when she starts getting into a little bit of trouble. Make her an independent. That way all the ships following behind don't slow down to whatever speed the van ship is going. But of course, the AI has to be programmed to do something, and that is one of its limitations. It's something I've used against it quite a few times. Now, against a real opponent, that would not happen. That sussed me up pretty quickly. <laughs> they don't know which way they're going. That ship is following some ship behind. <laughs> oh, over here? Oh, it's following you. You're following that ship there, which is sunk. So why are you following a ship that's sunk? No, you're not following. Beg your pardon. You've got in your own direction. Why are you only doing three knots? Now, I can't see because... Now, there's definitely no ship over there. That one's sunk. That one's... He's about to sink if you're not careful. But you... You are following a ship behind us. Well, I assume... One there. Yeah. Oh, you've changed what ship you're following. Oh, it's all gone suddenly quiet. Where's that? You see the, oh, that's you, the icon. Sorry. Beg your pardon. Yeah. So that's basically what happened. But the fact of the matter is, um, we sunk all of them. Every single one of them. And I lost two destroyers where the computer lost everything. And then now I suppose that's the difference. Now I assume this will all kick off again. So whether I'm going to show any more or not, I mean, I mean you know what's that, what the score is now. So yeah. We were coming back for a second bite of the cherry. Why are you went away in the first place, I don't know. Yeah, you, maybe you thought it was saying chaos there. Now the, maybe the AI has realised they're only destroyers. You gotta be careful because they've got a lot of destroyers, which means they've got a lot of torpedoes. Are you actually turning, are you? Look at these guys. There's going to be a bit of a law in the battle. It's going to be a quiet moment. Look at that bow. Rambell. 
don't know what you're going to ram with it though. We'll get bloody close to something to ram it. But that's what they fought in them days. That's because of the Battle of Liza. Or Liza? It's called Liza. In the Austro Hungarians and the Italians. In the Adriatic. Well, just outside. Right. Interesting bell. Go and read up on it. One of the few fleet actions. With, uh. Ships of the Ironclad Age. Yeah, they're trying to escape. Realise what they're up against. And, uh, you know, a dodge. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. So I thought it was one of ours. You're badly damaged. Heavily damaged, then. Oh, anyway, you're capable of 10 knots. Why are you not doing 10 knots? Deutschland's targeting you. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Who's Pommel F firing at? Can't stay on it long enough. Be about 33, and you are probably about 33. <laughs> so, you number 33 leading is that what it is? Yeah, they're firing at torpedo about 33. Oh, it's just, just stayed here. They shouldn't do that, really. Bug in the program, bug that's never been fixed. It never will be. Because Norm, I don't think Norm Kroger's doing anything. <laughs> Is he still alive? The guy that did the main of the main main programming for this game. This is one of his games. Like Operational Art of War. He did that. Apart from number four, he didn't do that. Number four was a bloody mess. That's why I won't buy it. Norm creates this wonderful UI where you can't see it. And what does Matrix do? They have a floating UI. They do like to stick their UI in your face, don't they, Matrix? I'm always on them. I don't think they like me. <laughs> I'm always criticising their UIs. Well, someone's got to praise them on oh, everything they do. Get the same trash all the time. They are. Norm's UI is fantastic. What you do is right click. Oh, I haven't got. I'm not playing the game. Or I should be. Oh, you know, because you've seen it loads of times. And you see it in the campaign. I right click and brings up it brings the menu up. Simple, elegant, and out of the way and out of your face. Crusader Wow. Oh you're a real destroyer. Why are you only doing three knots? Who the dickens are you following? Someone behind you, that's why. You're all out of position, aren't you? Ah, they're all... You are following you and you... Right, okay. So they switch directions, they just haven't reformed. Now when I do that, I always reform the line. Sorts all that problem out. Unless of course you mean to turn back again. In which case I don't bother. Or keep it the same. So it allows you to turn back around and still keep your leader. 
as the leader. When you reform, you, the leader changes. Obviously, because the leader, if, when you change, is then at the back, so you need him at the front. Why are you doing this game? For some reason. Why are the leaders not halfway down the line? I don't know. There's Medusa. Looking sprightly. Weird colour, but still. <laughs> That's always got me in this game. I think it turns a greenish colour <laughs> at night. Dude, it's better being pitch black, isn't it? Let's face it. Better than being pitch black. As you see, most of them are pitch black. That's the I think it's the moonlight that does that. And there are, as the rain's cleared up, it should be becoming a bit less cloudy. So we might see moonlight shining through, lighting up the battlefield. Put the map chart on again so you can see. <laughs> All right, so the British have reformed their line, and they're yeah, they're now going northwest. Or oh, and northwest west. <laughs> We're tracking them. They're not gonna get away. Yeah, they won't get away now. They've had it. Just a matter of time. My battle lost what thirty one minutes, didn't it, for destroyed the lot of them? Got away? Interesting. We're now up to about half an hour, 30 minutes. So, there's the difference. My tactics work better. So I assume the end result is going to be basically the same. You might stay with them, see what happens. Especially when your voice is feeling better, when we throat, should I say. So, yeah. Being finally destroyed. That was a big explosion. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the ship we're looking at, though. <laughs> so much going on, there's so many noises and sounds. Noises. I'm too much Fallout 4, <laughs> Super Mutants noises, uh, sounds going on. The, the, uh, the program is selective in what it uh, um, shows, or uh, sounds off. <laughs> yeah, you actually, you sunk. So why haven't you switched targets? I'm just going to make sure if she's sunk. I suppose we could go over there and have a look. I think she's gone man. Oh no, she's still... Actually there's two over here. I didn't realise there's two over here. Yeah, it's noisy over here, I know. Fifteen minutes! By the more she gets hit, the quicker she'd go. You're 18. Yeah. So their rear is really getting knocked about. It's starting to go down the line. Ah, oh, it's cutting right in front. Well, it slowed you right down, hasn't it? Yeah, three knots you're doing. You're sinking, you're doing 11. There's no shoreline for them to f throw themselves on this time. Which is funny. Why are you doing three knots? I don't know. Because you... Oh, I thought you was following the ship behind you. You're not. You're doing three. So hold up then. Why have we got a massive hair? Hold up. I know you just turned. You're all turning together for some reason. 
Here's the problem, Chip. Because they've turned in a different direction. These ships have got to sort themselves out, or do they start moving properly? Have a little chart. Yeah, that's the problem there. Can we get any closer? Yeah, we can. Yeah. That's going to slow all this line up. All this line up. And they're going in the wrong direction. They need to escape. Turning southwest-west now. Whatever they call it. South. West. There yeah, is southwest west. Our ships are driving in quickly. Well, that's a bit. Yeah, we're up to 19 knots. So we're driving in very quickly. I'm going to break them up. They're doomed. A lot of them are doomed. I assume you're sinking. Yeah. Sinking. You're sinking. It's only two minutes at you. Quick look. Yeah, she's dead in the water. Listing as well by the looks of it. Get over there. She's about to go. Still getting hit. Oh, you can actually see <laughs> someone standing up there. Oh, two people standing up there. A little boat in the bath, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's not submarines in the bath, by the way, guys. <laughs> God damn it, sink! Oh, they're abandoning ship. There she goes. That was going to be one of them. But she goes down slowly. Yeah. Bye, fella. It's your own fault. You shouldn't listen to the Admiralty. You're a goner as well. So that's, what's that there? Alright, oh, okay. And there's one there. So if I can get close to that, yeah, I can. Yeah, you're going. And this lot are, <laughs> they're just, they're just sailing into a trap, aren't they? Let's face it, the direction they're going is stupid. You're taking a chance, Angel. You? You're going to be towed by all these ships here. I can't see you surviving this. Your master is an idiot. Tracked. <laughs> oh dear. Are these star shells all over the place? You're already pretty damaged already, beaten up. You're also going along like mad. That's better. Couldn't keep up with you. Yeah, you can follow ships just by pressing the F key. Just got press. Put your pointer on something and just press F. Oh, she's the steering's gone. Yeah, the steering's gone. <laughs> she's gonna go all around. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Some weird stuff happens in this game. Yeah, some weird stuff happens in this game. Talk about new games coming out. Oh, I haven't talked about new games. Um, Age of Sal. Showing off that now. I think you can actually buy the game. 
in early access on Steam. Oh, there we go. She's sunk. She's going to sink. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. I'm glad about that. I was a bit surprised that we decided to bring that one out first. Maybe uh, Ultimate Admiral, because it's Ultimate Admiral Age, Age of Cell. Maybe they're bringing that out first because it's less technically cha challenging than Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. Uh, the latter game could be very similar to Rule the Waves. By the way, I haven't bought Rule the Waves 2. Only because I didn't have any money and I bought something else instead. <laughs> That's me all over. So I have to, I've got to wait till I uh, pay off my credit card. Because I don't like to have too much of my credit card. Not this late in my life. <laughs> I don't have a great deal of money. So things have to wait. Eventually I will get here. I've been watching a few people play it. There's a few problems with it. Oh, I do see that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was so close. She's got no... She's got no... Um, uh, way of controlling herself, so she's just going to keep going around and around the circle. It's sort of down to this ship to get out of the way because there's nothing she can do about it. Her steering's gone. See, they could have rammed one another. Player oh, these is gone. or going. Ah, Medusa's here. A bit late. She's here. And look at this lot. I've been keeping an eye on the battle there. <laughs> so concentrated on that. So there's a couple of good naval games coming out. Uh, I imagine the um, Ultimate Gen Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought will sort of take interest away from this game. Uh, people won't be so dismayed that they can't buy the game anymore. I've had a few people say it. They want the game but can't get hold of it and some some people against my advice has actually spent the money the game is supposed to automatically activate before it was uh, DMR, DRM you had to go online at least once a month to keep the game going keep it active which is what I did and this is my third computer it's been on and it's supposed to be my last one I'm allowed to put it on three different computers but whether that's true or not now I don't know the site isn't active anymore so it's the, the site has been migrated but what happens when it's after it's migrated your guess is as good as mine I don't know I have asked but I've got no reply, which is normal. We just got what one left? I think the rest have all sunk. Oh no, 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 oh no, it's one of mine. It's one of mine. He's driving in. <laughs> he fall. These can still shoes. You know they're sinking. Oh, four minutes. You need don't matter. You. Three minutes. Oh, they're all sinking pretty rapidly, actually. Can't find you. You're there somewhere. Get closer. You are even ignoring them? They're actually dead in the water, aren't they? One not. Oh, she's dead in water. Both of these are dead in the water. So they, that means you're sinking very shortly. Or normally means. Oh no, four minutes, beg your pardon. Okay, three minutes. Ah, oh, I found you. Eleven minutes over. Tons of time. That's basically it, by the looks of it. I suppose we'll go right to the bitter end just to see what. <laughs> How are you 
got uh, no scratches on you whatsoever. Sailing flew through the old... Oh, she's sinking. Oh, yeah? No, six minutes. I'll allow you sinking there for a moment. They've all missed you. Yeah. Uh, have a look where I... Where are you? This is not going to come up quick. That's the trouble. They seem all to be singing. It's that one there, I think. Uh, you're fine. You've got... <laughs> No problems whatsoever. Well, you are only doing 11 knots. Our fleet is down here. We've got ships going through. Center. That ship is very much active. Very much active. What about the one behind? Are you sinking? Oh, there's Medusa. You'd probably take care of her. Let's Prince, she's sinking. Pliders, thinking, pen, not gun for pen either by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's that Victorian guy's name? Uh, I've forgotten his name. Should know him really. He's famous around where I live. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I really hate that. My mind just goes blank. No, I'm not going to let you know what that is. You can rack your brains as much as you like I'm not telling you <laughs> let's have a look there's my dude oh she's suffered some damage ship sinking where are you, 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 you come, oh you're underneath the waves gone yes oh look at the state of her Yeah. Nasty. A lot of marks on you. Ah. You're finally succumbing, are you? Moderate damage. That must have been Medusa that did that. My main fleet still firing. Oh, there's the Nymph over there. She suffered damage as well. Have a look. Take a look. Shrouded in smoke. Oh, there she is. Uh, can we get round you? Yes, we can. Oh, this side's alright. Oh, it suddenly to <laughs> suddenly went quiet. <laughs> that one's fine. Uh, got a feeling our main battle fleet is cease fire. Up in the occasional shot. Oh, there they are, all over there. Yeah. Yeah, they look like they've ceased fire. So they've left it to the Doza and the others to clear up. Oh, these is going. Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> Missed her completely. <laughs> I was showing you over there. The pen sunk. Damage on TB13 is heavy. Right. And all you're doing now is waiting. There she is over there. I know, there she is there. Who are you firing at? You've got heavy damage as well. Battle was just finished, just in time for you. You actually find that ship there. Yeah, and it shows it too. You see the crosshairs on the ship. Yeah. Torpedo track? I'm obsessed with tor torpedo tracks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got. Someone sink her for crying out loud! It's got a list as well. Three degrees.
Oh, it's you that's fine, Nymph. He's damaged badly. Yeah. Got a list of one degree. She might actually sink. Yeah, she might actually sink. You could lose shit escape. Oh, what we can do is to finish this off. We can end battle. Do it. There we go. <sighs> so, original force of seven, 19 ships. Not enough. We have more than that. Could be wrong. Uh, they had more than. F In the real battle, they had more than 15. Yeah. Wait a minute, that's, that's not quite correct, is it? Oh, sorry. What? No, that's... They are the British. Sorry. They have 19 ships. Uh, zero are heavily damaged, 19 have been lost. Right. We had, fi according to that, we only had 15 ships. Oh, I think we had a bit more than that. Uh, two have been damaged. We lost four ships. Damn it. Dude, it doesn't matter, because it's not true. Well, I have got the end of the screen somewhere. I might actually tack that on the end of the video of what the real one was. <laughs> yeah. That was fun, wasn't it? Well, I thought it was fun. Um, and I will bring you another battle as soon as I uh, as I can depends how my throat is actually and how I'm feeling yeah but I hope you enjoyed that, that was fun not that I'm not playing this game I'm playing it all the bloody time <laughs> but it seems like that it, that and uh, a few other naval games as well so yep, thank you for watching Oh yeah, it's not the end as I thought it was. <laughs> I forgot to show you the screen. This is the real screen. This is my real screen. I, I did manage to get it on record. Uh, but there was, it was just the end. So I really remembered right at the end, I've actually got something called uh, sh Shadow Cast or Shadow Wave. I don't know. I get the name of the bloody thing. And uh, that's with NVIDIA, so I started it up out of interest to see if it was actually working. It did work, but there's no microphone attached to it. Um, I normally just use it to take screenshots. Right, and uh, this is one I took, but it takes a video, then, and then I normally do a screenshot off the video. Uh, this is what it is. Uh, we had a force of 17 ships we had five damage as it shows there we only lost two now it shows the British had 32 ships they did not have 32 ships they their destroyers were 21 plus well one of them was a, a cruiser they lost all 21 of them now the other ships are actually were actually submarines and uh, cargo ships I think there's two submarines and the rest were cargo ships. Uh, there could have been other destroyers around or torpedo boats, I don't recall, but there could have been that. But they was nowhere near the battle and I just couldn't, I just couldn't be bothered to <laughs> chase after them. They, they had a huge great start, it was miles away from where I was, so I didn't bother with it. But of the, uh, the, the, the original destroyer force that suddenly appeared from nowhere behind me, well, it was at night time, as you can see. Um, there was 21 of them. And we lost two ships as a result. I was a bit laxed until I realised it was um, a major engagement. But like I said, I split my force in two. And went down either side of the uh, British destroyer line. And I was able to sink um, a lot faster. <laughs> And what we did in this 
and battle you've just seen. Yeah, uh, it does say, yeah, yeah, it said on the other one, it was, the other screen, didn't it? The, uh, in the uh, campaign, it was 31 minute engagement. That was basically what it was, it was about half an hour. And this one took about 50 minutes to process, didn't it? I believe so. Anyway, thanks for watching again. I'll catch you in the next video.